Hello everyone. Welcome to Controllers Tech. Today in this tutorial, we will interface DF Player Mini with SDM32. DF Player works with very simple commands, which needs to be transmitted using UART. Let's start by creating a project in Cube IDE first. I am using SDM32 F103 for this purpose. Give some name to the project, and click Finish. Here is our Cube MX. I am selecting external crystal for the clock. Select Serial Wire Debug. I am using UART1 to send commands. Make sure the board rate is 9600 bits per second. I am going to use three buttons to control the playlist. That's why I am selecting these pins as input. Let's go to the clock setup now. I have 8 MHz external crystal, and I want the controller to run at 72 MHz. Click save to generate the project. First of all we need to copy the library files. So copy the C file to source, and header file to include directory. Click refresh, and you can see the files in the project. Let's take a look at the datasheet first. As you can see here, it supports FAT16, FAT32 formats for the SD card. There are 30 levels of volume, and other things are there too. You can read them. As mentioned here, the default board rate is 9600. And now the very important thing, the standby current is 20 mA. I will tell you more about this in a while. This is the diagram of DF Player Mini. We are going to use only this side. Let's take a look connection now. I am using external power supply for the DF player. RX pin from the DF is connected to TX pin of the controller, which is pin PA9. And TX pin from the DF is connected to RX pin of the controller, which is pin PA10. Speaker 1 and speaker 2 pins are connected to the positive, and negative of the speaker. These three buttons are connected to pin PA1, PA2, and PA3. This button is for previous selection, this one is for pause or play, and this is for next song selection. Coming back to the external power supply. While testing, I found that, DF player needs around 25 mA of current, during the song is playing. F103 was not able to supply this much current, even with the USB connected. So, I switched, to the external power supply. Even in the datasheet, it's mentioned that, it takes 20 mA of idle current. Let's go back to our main file. We need to include the library in our main file. Let's see the dfplayer.c file now. 
Here you can change the UART according to the one you are using. The source is defined as from the SD card. I will get back to this in a while. Define the pins that you are using for the buttons. Let's see these defines now. Start byte is 0 cross 7 E. End byte is 0 cross E F. The commands sent to the DF player have a sequence, and that is. Start byte, version, command length, command, feedback, parameter 1, parameter 2, 16 bit checksum, and the end byte. The command length is 6, as mentioned here, because it does not count the start, checksum, and the end bytes. We are not going to use feedback, so I have defined it 0 here. Send command function will send the command to the DF player. It first calculates the checksum. The command sequence is same here too. We have start byte, version, command length, command, feedback, parameter 1, parameter 2, check some high byte, lower byte, and the end byte. And then it sends this array to the UART. DF in it is to initialize the player, and it takes volume as the parameter. Basically, we send 0 cross 3f with the parameters. You can see here, this is the command to initialize the player. And we need to send the parameters also. If you scroll down, the example is provided in the datasheet. This is the sequence of commands need to be sent, for the tf card. We have command, feedback, parameter 1, and parameter 2. The parameter 2 is 0 cross 0 2 for the TF card. That's why I have defined it as source here. You can change it, and see the other parameters in the datasheet. Then it sets the volume. Zero cross zero 06 is the command to set the volume, along with the parameter, which acts as a level of the volume. DF next function is to play the next song. This command does not need any parameter. This is command to play previous song. We have pause, and play also. Check key function checks if the key is pressed. If the song is playing, then it will be paused, or if it is paused, then it will resume the play. Then we have a button for previous, and a button for next song. Now, let's start programming. Initialize the DF player, I am keeping the volume as 10. Start the play from the first song. In the while loop, we will keep checking for the button pressed. Let's build, and debug this. Before starting, I want to show you my SD card. There are 6 MP3 files. You should also number them like I have done it here. Let's run this.
This is it guys. I hope you understood how to program this DF Player Mini. You can download the code from the link in the description. Have a nice day.